Chosen Ones, how y'all doing out there? It's your boy Cardo back at it again with another video. Pound that like button on your way in and subscribe to me if you ain't subscribed yet. Make sure you put the notifications on. That way you know when the videos are being uploaded. And follow me on the gram. I got that link in the description. I highly appreciate it. You feel me? Let's start the video off right, Chosen Ones. Do this with me. I need some help. Come on now. Let's thank the Most High. Who? Our almighty heavenly father. For what? For allowing us to be here. One second. I need to get me a shape up soon. It's about that time. Yes, sir. Today. Yes, sir. Indeed, you feel me to the south side, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, chosen ones, I hope you feeling me. Grab the swords out, right? Thought I wasn't gonna tell you to do it. You thought wrong. Get them swords out. You know why? We gonna be slicing in this video. We do this every trip. We gonna be dicing in this video. With what? With these scriptures, you feel me? Y'all know how we do it, chosen ones. So you know we gotta back up what we talking about with the word. We gotta use God's truth every trip. No cap. While y'all sharpening y'all swords up, chosen ones today i'm gonna be telling y'all that it is very important it is key to stay motivated out here you gotta stay motivated in the things that you are doing if you don't have anything that you are trying to accomplish you need to talk to the most high and you need to start right now stop wasting time find something that you can do every day that is in line with your purpose Come on, chosen ones. You got to put effort towards finding these things out. Let me say this first. In the beginning, before I... Because look, let me... No, no, let me say this first. Excuse me. First and foremost, everybody walk is different. We all got unique walks of life. As for me, it took me longer than I wanted to to wake up. It took me longer than I wanted to to decide to get to know who I truly am. And get to know why I'm here It took me a very long time Chosen ones It's not about How long it takes though It's just about you actually Answering God's call And For the rest of Your life After answering the call Then you finally start to understand Who you are and Why you should be coming closer to God Come on man that's when you don't need to look back. That's when you need to stay motivated and stay focused on doing these things, doing the things that God sent you here to do. Because it's a lot of things, chosen ones, that we go through that can, it can, it can sometimes unmotivate us. You know, sometimes we may feel like we want to just give up. Sometimes we feel like we just want to stop dealing with people all together. You know what I'm saying? As we go through a lot of spiritual warfare and the things that we, we're seen here to do you know what i'm saying a lot of people in this world they kind of get agitated they really don't like it and on top of that chosen ones you just got things to happen out of our control you know because that's part of life and then on top of that chosen ones you got things happening in the world right now that is uh pretty crazy you know we in january first month of the year it's already been a lot going on but I just want to tell y'all, you don't need to focus on what's going on in the news. You don't need to focus on what everybody else got going on. The only thing you need to focus on is yourself and getting a good, intimate, close relationship with the Most High. Because right now in this world, it's just a battle. It's a battle, good against evil. That's what's going on in the, in the world right now. Good versus evil. You already know what side you want, chosen ones. You on that good side. So being on this good side, you got to stay motivated. All right. I just wanted to get y'all a clear picture on what we're talking about today. Hopefully I didn't take too long. All right. Now, thank y'all for being patient. Um, 
Yeah, we finna hop on in. I'm gonna start off with this scripture. Get the swords out. Second Chronicles 15 verse 7. But as for you, be strong and do not give up for your work will be rewarded. So chosen ones, you got to keep that in mind. When you're out here doing the things for the most high, when you're out here using your gifts and talents, you keep putting in this hard work. You keep serving others. You keep helping others. Your work will be rewarded in due time. Let, a mo let this be motivation as well, chosen ones. Your reward is not even what you think it is. See, a lot of the times we be thinking we know what we're about to receive from the most high. We think we know. We, 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 we think we got an idea on what we really want, you know, out of life. You know, the blessings that we want, the things we want to have, right? We got an idea. But it's just like when God say, I'm going to bless you in due time, it's a blessing. He's talking about blessings that we can't even think about. Sometimes blessings we may not even be ready for. You know what I'm saying, chosen ones? It's a lot bigger than we think. That should be some motivation right there. It's a lot bigger than what we want, what we expect think anything you know what i'm saying chosen one so it's like let that be some motivation that if you continue to use these gifts and talents helping others that that energy is gonna come back to you i know some of y'all you know what i'm saying out there be feeling like you be giving your energy away a lot to people and don't receive you know what i'm saying the same type of energy back or you know just the same type of love you know what i'm saying because it's just like a lot of people they like to receive things from you. They like to, you know, be around you. They like to use your energy to help themselves. But it's just, you know what I'm saying, for gain a lot of the times. And they don't really tell you the things that you are doing for them or how good you are doing in your life. Just because they may either be jealous, they may either be hating on you, chosen ones. You got such a bright light out here that a lot of people just you know they want it you know what i mean and they they, can, they can't quite understand how you are operating the way you operate so it's just like if you continue to be motivated in the things that you want to do not only are you uh not being focused on what people are saying about you on what people think about you you know what i'm saying and you got a lot of people out here that's just trying to fear monger you know just put a lot of fear into people in these last days don't pay attention to any of that nonsense just focus on yourself focus on the most high and using your gifts and talents just stay motivated all right keep put this in the comments right now talk your talk i will stay motivated for the most high i'm gonna stay motivated for the most high it's all for him at the end of the day he brought us here for a reason so we got to continue to do what we do for the most high you know what i'm saying Let's go to the next scripture. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So it's like, keep that in mind as well, chosen ones, when it comes to staying motivated. You got to understand whatever you're going through, even if it's bad, even if it's unbearable, it may seem like, you still got to continue to push forward and know that the plan that the most high has for you is to prosper you, not to harm. Come on, man. Let that be some motivation for you. Put this in the comments right now. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for believing in me. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for um, allowing me to be a part of your divine plan. You know what I'm saying? He chose you. Just think about that. He chose you to do a certain thing for him. God, God did. Come on, man. And then it's just like, even if we are not seeing the things that we feel like we should be seeing in the moment, you know, just as far as where we're at and the things that we are doing, we got to know that we are still becoming stronger, right? We're still becoming stronger. We're still gaining wisdom. We still are spiritually maturing. We still need all of these things, chosen ones, to be at a good level, at the right level. You know what I'm saying? Before we can continue to level up because God needs us to be ready, right? He wants us to be ready because he loves us so much. And it's just like with me, you know what I'm saying? Like back then, I most definitely, I most definitely would say I got a lot of motivation, especially back then, you know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all in some of my previous videos, you know, just being a part of some businesses and 
But just one, you know, work for myself. You really got to be motivated. You got to put that hard work in. And even though really deep down, I was doing all of these things, not really truly knowing why I'm, why I was here, you know, just pretty much just going the course, really. It's, it's like even even then, I still had to have the motivation because I already knew that if I want to get to a certain destination or if I want to level up at all, you're going to have to put the work in, regardless of how hard it may get. You know what I'm saying? So as far as the chosen ones who are kind hearted, as far as the chosen ones who pretty much be alone most of the time, who pretty much are very spiritual, um, we don't really get angry too many of the, too much of the times. We're very peaceful. So it's like, with all of that being said, chosen ones. Keep your energy. Keep all of that good energy so that you can stay motivated. Because a lot of the times when people start to come in and they start to tell you um, how your certain situation is looking right now. Or you might be doing something wrong. Or you're not doing enough. You know, just feeding a lot of things into your head to just probably make you feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Don't let none of that stop you from pushing forward. It should be no opinions what people are doing no, nothing should be stopping you nothing can stop you keep that in mind the most high god is going to allow you to go through any obstacle any human being that is needed for you to get to your destination you just got to focus on him and you got to stay motivated keeping the faith you feel me i sure hope so chosen ones matthew 19 26 says but jesus looked at them and said with man, this is impossible. With God, all things are possible. Let that be some motivation for you. Put this in the comments. With God, all things are possible. You better believe they are. It ain't nothing too hard for the most high to accomplish in your life. So you may think it's hard right now, chosen ones, but you're going to get through it. You're going to get through it. God is going to find a way for you. Even if it may seem like it's impossible. I know some, I even be saying it sometimes. Like, God, how are you going to get me out of this one? Or how are we going to do this? It's that dependency. You got to depend on the Lord and you got to show him regardless. I'm here for you and only you and I trust you going to get me through any situation. You know what I'm saying, chosen one? So it's just like whatever y'all got going on, whatever your goals are, whatever you're working towards. Whatever thing that you are doing that is requiring you to use your gifts and talents to help people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Real quick. Um, some of y'all, when it comes to this motivation, some of y'all may be at jobs right now. And you may, you know, not want to be there. And a job is not necessarily your purpose either. This is just, you know, something you got to do to continue, you know, to get your bread. So you can continue, you know what I'm saying, do what you need to do. But your purpose is when you are truly and you can feel it in your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Know you are doing work for the most high as far as helping people. As far as lifting people up. Things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, that's going to require a lot of motivation. So, it's just like, back to what I was saying about the job thing. As far as what you're doing for work. Or as far as what you're doing for your purpose. Both of them. You need to be motivated. Even if with the job, you, you may feel like you don't want to be there. You still got to stay motivated because um, it's all about focus. And it's all about understanding that it's not about getting to a certain destination on your timing. It's all about God's timing. So it's just like you may be at a job, right? And you don't want to be there. But you got something else that you're doing or should be doing, right? To where you are fulfilling your purpose now it's just like if you decide to quit the job you know what i'm saying which is not wrong you know what i'm saying now it's just like okay now you got to go 100 now you got to go even 10 times harder on this other thing you feel me you got to go 10 times harder so it's just like just continue to write things down as well thank you Holy spirit write things down in these spiritual notebooks just so you can continue to stay motivated in the sense of 
making sure you are going back to seeing the task that you wanted to complete throughout the day, making sure that you are continuously writing positive things in your journal about the day, about yourself, just to keep you uplifted. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep you going and not lazy. God don't like lazy people. He want his people strong, courageous, and putting his work in. So let's act accordingly. You feel me? I sure hope so. Let's slice and dice again, shall we? Colossians <clears throat> 3, verse 23. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for man. So keep that in your mind as far as motivation. Sometimes we be doing things right and we may be feeling some type of way because after we didn't need to help somebody or we just said something, you know what I'm saying? And then we received flashback from it and we weren't doing anything wrong. We was just, you know, being our true selves, right? Chosen one. You know, we just be being our true selves. And then it's just like, we got to understand we're not doing it for them. This is a bigger picture here. We got to think about. We need to understand that we are doing everything for the most high. You know what I'm saying? Not for man. We're not here to um, get no recognition from no man. We don't need no recognition. The chosen ones don't. The chosen ones, let me say this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Chosen ones, y'all got to understand this too. And keep this in your mind for motivation. Y'all are such a bright light. It's to a point to where you don't need to be wearing a bunch of flashy stuff. You don't need to be famous. You don't need a lot of money. You don't even need to look good. You just got this light shining so bright on you that people see it and people already can feel God's presence. You know what I'm saying? Just just by being around you. You ain't got to try too hard. You just got to continue to be yourself and at least putting forth the effort to do something each day for the kingdom. Come on now. If you really think about it, chosen ones, it may sound hard and it may feel hard at times, but just... Try to think of the simple things to keep you motivated. That's not hard at all. Think about things that you can do throughout the day that's easy. That way there's no excuses. What are some of those things, chosen ones? That's praying. Talking to the most high every day. That's easy. Come on, man. Praying is easy. Reading your word. That's easy. Even if you're busy throughout most of the day, you're not busy all day. Not the entire day. I don't think so. So you can find at least 10 to 15 minutes throughout the day. Read the word. Get the slicing and dicing in daily. Easy. You know what I'm saying? Come on. As far as helping somebody, there's plenty of ways to help people. Even people who you don't even know. Easy. You know what I'm saying? You might be out somewhere holding the door for somebody. That's helping somebody right there. You may see an old lady out. She got a bunch of bags. Maybe you can help her. Bring her bags to the car. That's easy. Come on, man. Easy work. If we get in the habit, chosen ones, of doing these easy things, which allows us to grow in spirit, which allows us to get closer to God and which allows us to just become better, more positive, more um, righteous human beings. We just got to make it second nature. And then it's like when that's second nature, now it's like you are moving in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? You moving with purpose. You know what I'm saying? You're moving on purpose. So it's just like, that's where you're going to get a lot of that motivation from. You actually wanting and you actually um, knowing that the things that you are doing is making a positive change in the world. You feel me? That feels good, chosen ones. It feels good when you know you are truly helping people. At least it really does for me. You know what I'm saying? And for y'all listening to me right now, I appreciate every last one of y'all watching me. I appreciate all my subscribers. We'd have made it to over 700. We'd have made it to 700, baby. We almost set that 1K mark. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. And as far as motivation, y'all keep me motivated as well. When y'all be putting things in the comments, yes, sir, I read. Most definitely. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate the likes, the shares, everything that y'all be doing for this channel. You know what I'm saying? And then it's just like that's another thing, Chosen Ones. We can motivate each other. That's another way we should stay motivated by coming together as a unit. I love talking about that, that building unity in Christ. We can motivate each other out here because a lot of people don't like to 
be real with the chosen ones. You feel me? A lot of people like to run away from the chosen ones and people just start acting weird. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way it is, but it's just like, we know what type of work we need to do. You know what I'm saying? We know with being God's chosen, there's certain things we just gonna have to go through. That's why we got to keep this prayer life up. That's why we got to keep the full armor of God on, right? Yes, sir. Asking God each and every day to keep us protected and away from all temptation. Yes, sir, indeed. Keep this motivation up, y'all. Keep this motivation up. Do not let Satan put lies into your head. Do not let Satan use people to make you feel like that you are not good enough. You know what I'm saying? Just stay focused. When times get hard, you know who you need to depend on. You know who is here for you. You know who has always been here for you the entire time. Who thought about you before you was born and set a plan up for you to prosper you, not to harm you. You heard that scripture we read earlier. Come on now. This is the word. God make promises and he don't he don't break them, y'all. God don't break his promises, man. Let that motivate you. Put some more things in the comments right now. God don't break his promises. Um, Just how you feel. Just as far as what motivates you. You know what I'm saying? Just talk your talk. Speak it out loud if you need to. Let it be heard. Speak it into existence. You know? So, chosen ones, if y'all stayed this long in the video, I highly appreciate it. I really do. If this hit your soul in any way, and if you have got even more motivated throughout this video, pound that like button. Tell me in the comments. Talk to talk. And uh, I really appreciate y'all for slicing and dicing with your boy. Yes, sir. Indeed. Y'all did that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, before I get on up out of here, chosen ones, this is a few more things that I got to leave y'all with. I do this every time. I'm going to need y'all to listen to me. Listen to me. I want y'all to have a nice, 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 nice. Oh, yeah. I want y'all to have a blessed, super blessed, all of the blessings. Ask for them if you haven't asked for them yet. I want you to receive them all. I do. You should. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and I want y'all to have a beautiful day. Chosen ones. Peace out. God bless and stay motivated stay motivated out here for the most high stay motivated out here for the kingdom you feel me it's only right yes sir indeed